Good afternoon. Today is the 3rd of December and uh, I'm at the Aviator Hotel in Farnborough. I'm assisting uh, Mr. Ben Quirk from the Planet Auto YouTube channel uh, with uh, their review of the 2019 Voxel Astra 1.2 Elite Nav. Hopefully you can hear Ben in the background. Hello. Hello. Um, as with uh, Planet Auto, w when we do walk-arounds on cars sort of like this, we don't have two people speaking anymore because it just has a lot of problems. So we're going to just uh, just with me today. This is the facelifted Astra K, um, also known as the Astra Mark 7. It's funny to, to sort of know that actually the Astra is 40 years old this year. They're still making them in the same factory where they started in 1979, which is up at Ellesmere Port on, um, on Merseyside in the middle of Wirral. And um, they're also built in other places such as uh, Poland and Germany. But this is uh, um, the only sort of thing you can identify with that is if you look at the VIN and that, that might tell you if you're a bit of an expert. This is powered by a 1.2 three-cylinder turbocharged petrol engine generating 145 horsepower. The other power outputs available are 110 and 130. This is a brand new engine that's just been developed for this car. It's not the same engine as you'd find in, say, I don't know, a Citroen C4 Aircross, something like that. It's not the same. So we open up the in inside. Sort of classic, um, very late period of Voxel Opal in here. Very robust looking switches and the controls of it. The indicator stalks for some reason look a little bit less kind of hefty than the ones on say an Astra J. This car's got an electronic handbrake um, being the um, Elite Nav. You can actually see here it still says GM on the seatbelt buckle there. It's interesting. Um, that headlight switch is very familiar to anybody who's driven uh, an Astra J or a Chevrolet Cruze which is a car that I had, I had two of those. Ben's very kindly going to open the bonnet for me um, with this tiny little three-cylinder engine. Ben said it's plenty fast enough on, on, on the motorway, it's driven all the way down from the Lake District. It'll do 137 miles an hour. And apparently it does 137 miles an hour. <laughs> so loads of room for bigger engines. You can also get um, a 1.4 um, of the same power output with a four-cylinder. It has a CVT also, although I'm not a huge fan of CVT automatic gearboxes. I prefer manuals, and this car's got a six-speed manual. Um, there are also a couple of diesels, 105, 122 horsepower. Those actually are Peugeot units. Um, they have a 1.5 turbo diesel, but it's in a lot of different cars. Uh, nice and easy access. Um, yeah, the engine looks a bit lost in there, to be honest. Um, not a lot of coolant, sort of, for this engine. The uh, expansion bottle's not that full, but uh, I'm sure they know what they're doing in That's terms of that. That's the first thing I noticed then. Yeah, there's a tiny, tiny little yeah. um, coolant, coolant reservoir. I mean, the reservoir itself is large, it's just the amount of coolant this car takes is quite small. So if we look at the interior a little bit more, I do apologize for my reflection there and also um, for the light coming in. It's, today's quite bright actually. See, so we've got apps and nice Astra floor mats. Um, this is being the Elite Nav, we've got a leather interior as well. If I clamber into the back, then uh, we'll just be slightly careful here. Oh, this is quite, this is quite nice actually in here. Um, my knee room is, is actually really good. I've got plenty of knee room. My head room's about what I'd expect. It's not, it's not enormous, but it's absolutely fine. Um, one thing I've noticed about the Astra J, which is a previous model, uh, and this one, is that um, the doors are quite large as the metal. There's not a huge window space in here. I mean, you don't really notice that if you compare this with, say, a Cruze or an Astra. Um, the door tops in here are not um, are not soft touch. They're hard touch in the back, but they're decent quality and so is this. It's, it's quite comfortable in here, actually. There's a leather armrest there. Right, let's get a bit more to the, uh, to the front. So I'll just move the camera there so you can see. Six-speed manual gearbox, electric um, handbrake. Ben tells me that the handbrake is actually pretty good in this car. Uh, steering wheel looks good, lots of nice controls on there, huge numbers of controls on there. So if I come round now to the boot, 
it's around 380 litres or so, about the same as the current Mark 7.5 Golf. And obviously you've got all the Planet Auto filming equipment in here for when we um, stop a little bit later. And there's the uh, DSLR camera ready. One thing I've noticed about this car is that it's got a huge screen in the middle of the conventional dials. I like conventional dials. Um, obviously we've got the BMW Elite Nav, we've got screen in the middle of there, it's Apple CarPlay Android Auto enabled, dual zone climate control, heated steering wheel, heated seats, heated rear seats in this car as well. I don't think I've had um, too many of those or like that. And if we uh, switch her on, yeah, yep, it's actually got a conventional key as well. That's definitely meets with my approval. So I'm not. I'm going to take it out of gear so it doesn't move, and then we'll just switch her on. There we go. I've actually got the speedometer in the middle of this particular one. You can see all kinds of different things. There we go. Look, audio, phone, navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Um, nice and simple to operate. One of the things I really like about this car, which is not the same on all Peugeot Citroen products um, from this group PSA, is we've got dual zone climate control, we've got actual knobs for, for the temperature and actual buttons. You do not have to go and do an entertainment system to actually change the temperature or anything. I think that's really good. And the digital readouts are on the end of the knobs. Yeah, and they're on the end of the knobs. So if I so I, I'm out of out of gear here. That, give it a start and listen to that rotary engine. Yes, we can. Uh, yeah, get rid of that. I'm sure. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know it's open. It's holding the second car whilst I press the clutch. There we go. So you can see the temperature lights up on there, which is nice. I'll just give it a, a bit of rev. We're not going to go for dry because I'm not insured. I actually can't hear it too well from in here. So yeah, that's uh, that's good. Just like a mild Chevy Cruze, I used to have all, the later one in particular. We've got all life indicator in here too. I reckon Ben, uh, despite Planet Auto's slightly exuberant driving style, probably about 50 miles per gallon. Did you say on the way down here yesterday? Yeah, 50 um, is what you're supposed to get. I was getting about 45, which yeah. is absolutely unbelievable. The crazy thing about this car is. As you can tell, we're by an airport yeah, again. Yeah, we're by the airport again. Um, yeah, the strange thing about it is, in sixth gear, at about 70 miles an hour, you're revving at 1,700. Yes, that's really low. I mean, it, say in a Skoda Scala set to load of a, yeah. a similar engine, um, you'd be doing 2,300, something like that. Yes, which exactly. Is, which is still low. Um, I'm holding the camera really close in the hope that the viewers can hear you, Ben. That's, uh, that's why I'm raising my voice as yes, well. Yes, yes. Just Aircraft. Making... Yes, exactly. Christmas. Yes. So that's the um, 2019 Vauxhall Astra 1.2 Elite Nav with uh, the 145 horsepower engine. Um, I'm looking forward to with Ben going for a little drive later. Obviously, Ben will be driving, not me. Uh, 26 grand. Yeah. The, the, I was going to say, price yeah, might be an important That's it. Factor. The list, the list price of this car is 26,000. Obviously, if you go for a pre facelift, which has different engines from this. You might be able to get a nice discount to the Vauxhall dealer, but this is the new model. And um, we've got nice Vauxhall uh, press plates on this as well, which is very nice. It also starts at just, I think it's about 19,000. Yes, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. Um, so yes. Um, but we've got LEDs. You d we've got full LED lamps in this one. I like full LED lamps. So anyway, uh, thank you very much indeed for watching. Well, we've got to get on with doing some other stuff here. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to um, Planet Auto, first of all, and the Live Vehicle Consulting channel. And um, we've also got a Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Lloyd Vehicle Consulting. Um, if you wish me to source a car for you, I sourced an Astra J just last week. So I do like Astras and there's, there's actually um, a full review of an Astra H, which is the sort of one made in the late 2000s on my channel too. Thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching.